Whoa, okay, so I have to select a difficulty. Poppable, easy, medium, hard, and impoppable. I feel like hard's probably the best option. I think we'll go with that one. Oh, whoa! So I gotta pick a hero now. Okay, whoa, who do I pick? Who's a good, who's like, I feel like you can't go wrong with Sada, right? Do we go, I feel like I want either Oban, Sada, or Gwendolyn. Let's just go with Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's always a good option. Oh, now I have to pick a tower? Do I only get one tower? What's gonna be the, what, what tower do I wanna get? Do I just go ahead and just go straight banana farm? <laughs> okay, let's go Monkey Buccaneer, because I feel like that's a really good option here. Where do we put Gwendolyn? Right there, all right, let's go. Okay, wait. The Monkey Buccaneer only costs $335? Is it always that cheap? That's like ridiculously cheap. Okay, I do not want to put my Molotov there. I want to make sure my Molotov's like over here so I can actually, you know, pop balloons. This is a lot of balloons for round two, actually. Is that more than like usual or am I just crazy? I guess I'm not used to playing against round three because we normally play on hard. So I guess I'll put like the Monkey Buck in here like way over here, right? So can I upgrade and get... I think I want to try to get, like, Merchant Men, right? I feel like that's a pretty good option. I actually don't know what's the best... Do, is this the only tower that I'm going to get the entire game? Right? Am I not allowed to get any other towers? Because that could be kind of problematic for me. And if that's the case, uh, do I just get Grape Shot to be safe? Because Grape Shot... Oh, wait. Choose a path. None of these paths will show up again. Choose wisely. Engineer. Dart Monkey 020... Monkey Ace 020. Engineer Monkey 200. I think I want the Engineer Monkey. I think that's probably the best option. So now I guess I get an Engineer Monkey. Whoa! So I never can get a Dart Monkey or a Monkey Ace? Is that what? That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Let's put the Engineer Monkey up here. That seems like a pretty good spot. So I guess I have to get Sentry Gun and Faster Engineering. Ten million dollars! I guess that's just to stop me so I can't get any more upgrades on the tower. Because that is what they said that I had to get. So I have a 200 engineer monkey. So that's not too bad. I'm okay with that. He's already got 180 pops, so he's already doing very well. This is way more balloons. Round 10 is normally just balloons. So I actually feel like there is quite a bit going on over here. Now, the question is... Alright, I, I want to get crow's nest. Oh, I can only get T2s? What? Wait, so when can I upgrade? Look at how many balloons that I have to deal with as well. I have to deal with regions already? Pink balloons at round 12? What's happening? How in the world am I supposed to deal with all these shenanigans? All right, I guess I'll get Grape Shot and Hot Shot. I can hit everything except Camo Purples. Actually, I can hit every type of balloon. So I think we're okay now. I can deal with these things. So we're at round 14. Things are going okay. I would like to get a new tower sometime soon. Maybe it's at the, um, the end of round 15 is when I get a new tower. But I don't know. This is... Oh, okay, okay. N Ice Monkey... Nin Wait, it says three. I get three Ninja Monkeys? It, there's no way that's how that works, right? I'm going to select it. I got three... Okay, obviously, like, you want the three Ninja Monkeys right like obviously just getting the three ninja monkeys is the way to go that's really strong all right let's go ahead and just get some more ninjas let's get let's get our ninja monkeys down so they were zero two zeros right and they are counter espionage so that's pretty nice so distraction counter espionage huge shout out by the way to men dev for creating this mod actually so hype i love the concept of it the idea of this mod is called a roguelike which I love roguelike games. I've like I've always enjoyed playing them, so it's really cool to see this kind of brought two balloons in a way. Okay. Whoa! Why is there balloon areas in round twenty? What the heck? Okay. Uh, give me deconstruction. Okay. Uh, let's get our other ninjas down. Uh, distraction. All right. That's all the money that I got. Hopefully, this should be enough to deal with it. I was not expecting to deal with the balloon areas at round twenty. 20. Oh, we're already damaging it quite a bit and it hasn't gotten that far. It's really slow. Oh, that was a big rush Luckily our monkey buccaneer is cleaning house right now Maybe once we beat the balloon areas, it'll allow us to get higher tiers, right? Because we're only allowed to get t2 towers right now So maybe that'll be we can upgrade that and just get higher tiers, which would be really nice. Oh, yeah It's it's already really beaten up right now 
So we're actually doing very good with it. Come on! Pop it! Luckily, we have hot shots, so we're actually constantly just adding fire onto it. Ooh. All right, put Molotov down. All right, that was the second skull. I think this is the last, like, phase it's in. I mean, he's doing okay. Luckily, the Balloonarius is really slow. We're still here many years later as we're waiting for this boss to, like, finally die. Please, just be done with it. It's taking so long! Let's go, little sentry gun! You can do it! This boss is actually getting kind of far. Like, this boss is getting a lot further than I wanted it to. It's actually come all the way back around now. It's been doing this for like four minutes. Okay, there we go. Now our boys are actually starting to attack it again. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, finally, we were able to defeat it. Now we're on to round 21. Wait, we don't even have any new... We didn't get anything for beating it? That's rigged! That's so rude! That is super duper mega rude. Wait, okay, yeah, round 23, they're sending lead balloons at us. It's definitely, definitely amping up, like, the challenge that we're going up against here. There we go. Gwendolyn's putting in the work now with all these balloons. Hopefully we get a new, like, thing of tower soon. Because that's all, these are all just T2s right now. So it's, like, not that great, right? It's just not that great. Oh, choose a path. Super monkey! Wait, definitely super monkey, right? Oh, but that's so expensive. Monkey sub? Ooh, these, this is actually kind of difficult. I mean, super monkey's just so clutch, though. Let's get the super monkey. All right, we can put our super monkey right there. So we can get laser blasts. What is this camo balloon garbo? And then, yeah, this is where our lead balloons are supposed to show up. Plasma blast, and then we can go ahead and get the sun avatar. Which, I mean, we need $20,000 in order to buy the Sun Avatar, which is a little bit crazy. I don't really know if we're allowed to buy these. I mean, like, you can, so I guess, like, you could just, like, go ahead and buy them. But it says, like, 300, so I don't know if you're supposed to, like, just have it, or... This is actually way more difficult than normal balloons. Like, look at this! Look at these regen lead balloons! What the heck? On round 32?! Are you kidding me right now? This I'm actually really glad we got the super monkey. He's gotten 6,000 pops so far. We've only at round 30. What is this ceramic rush? What the heck? Look at all these ceramic balloons. That's outrageous. I'm really... Okay, okay. Spike factory. Oh, bomb shooter for sure, right? Yeah, definitely bomb shooter. Oh, and it gives us... I gotta look at the numbers that it gives us. I have- I feel like looking at the numbers it gives us is so- Round 37 and I'm getting swarmed by Moabs? Wait, 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 I'm so close to getting Sun Avatar. Oh my gosh, we got Sun Avatar just in time. Holy cow! They were not kidding when they meant this is hard difficulty. Okay, so these are supposed to be 03 bomb shooters. I'll put them like right here. Extra range frag bombs and cluster bombs. Okay. And then extra rating frag bombs and oh another balloon arius. I think we're a lot stronger this time though. Like I think we're a lot more prepared for dealing with balloon arius now that we have a sun avatar. But this guy's just getting eaten up. I might want yeah look at that that boss got oh we get another hero. Yo open we definitely get open right right yeah yeah we get open we're gonna get open and we can put open down. Let's go. I don't know if it's gonna, cause they have hero XP split, which is not great. But now, but he, oh wait, they shot up to level three immediately. So I don't think the hero XP split actually applies to us. If both of them level up, there's there's no way that yeah, there's no way that there's hero XP split, which is really good. Both of these heroes are great at dealing with rushes. Plus, Oban gets nature's clarity, which gives a lot more like bonus damage to our our beautiful baby sun avatar who's actually clutching it for us right now. The Sun Avatar is clutching it for us. They're doing a very, very good job. Will we be able to get to round? Oh, choose a path. Wizard Monkey. Wait. Whoa, these are crazy paths. Monkey Ace is pretty, cr no, Wizard Monkey for sure, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of magic. That is so much magic to get the Wizard Monkey. Like the Monkey Ace is really strong. I don't know which is the better path here. 
I don't care about Engineer Monkey. I'm gonna get the Spectre. Oh, man. Fire Breath is so good, but then again, we have too much magic. Purple will, we'll just lose to Purple. We, I really think we need to get that. It will get Center Path anyway, so I guess we can just put this over here. So, sh Sharper Dart, Center Path, Never Miss Targeting, and Spectre. Okay, Spectre is gonna be very nice. Yeah, there we go. Spectre is putting in work! I really want to get the camo detection on this guy. Knockback camo detection. But again, I don't know if we're allowed to. Because it doesn't say you can't. It doesn't say that you can't. Like, this restricts us, right? Like, this literally, it says you're not allowed to go above that. But maybe the cross path is something that we're just allowed to get. And we decide which is the better cross path to get with it. I'm going to go with that. I think that's, I think that's reasonable. It doesn't stop you from doing it. So I think the fact that it doesn't stop you from doing it is part of the game design. And if that's the case, we're gonna get Spy Plane. I think that's reasonable. And if that's the case, we can get Bigger Bombs, Heavy Bombs, Bigger Bombs, Heavy Bombs. And then, let's see. With this, uh, Ninja Discipline, Sharp Shurikens. Ninja Discipline, Sharp Shurikens. Ninja Discipline, Sharp Shurikens. Wall of Trees on Open is gonna make my life way, like, way better. Ooh! Ooh, definitely Sniper Monkey, right? Ice Monkey, Boomer. Ooh, Boomer. I want Sniper. I, I can't... I want... I gotta remember to look... Can I put... Where do I put my Sniper? I know Snipers can fit around here. Thank you. Okay, and then, yeah, that's a four. And then faster firing, target strong. Yeah. Let's go. All right, round 59. We're probably gonna have to go up against another Balloon Arius. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit worried. Wait, it's Vortex! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Vortex is really scary. I do not have a setup to go up against Vortex. Look at how much he stuns all of our towers. Luckily, I'm really glad we ended up getting this guy, the Monkey Ace. He's got 56,000 pots. That was the play. That was definitely the play. Oh, and we got our sniper just kind of putting in that main Moab, smacking him around. I was not expecting Vortex to come up after us. That is real spooky. But it's working. It is working. We got our little boys. Are we all doing a little bit of damage? And, okay. We're actually crushing it right now against the bosses. I think we're getting... I feel like we've gotten some pretty good luck with all the towers that we've gotten. And besides, we have, like, some nice heroes, too. We got Oven. We got Gwendolyn, so we can constantly be blowing down fire. Which also, when she gets level 11... Wait, what? No, when Oban hits level 11, they'll boost good old Super Monkey. For the next tower we get, I would love... A form of money making would be kind of cool. Like a banana farm? Or a druid. I want a druid. I have Oban. If I could get a nature's forest, I would be so happy with that. Attack Shooter 500. Ooh, Monkey Buccaneer. Seven of them? You can get seven of them? Holy cow. So you get seven Monkey Buccaneers. Or I kind of want the Attack Shooter. Two subs. Man, man, man. This is rough. This is a hard decision. You can't go wrong with Inferno Ring. I got to get the Inferno Ring. And we're gonna put the Inferno Ring right here. Which is gonna- Or- Wait, what's- Where's Oven's range? Or it's actually Gwendolyn's range. Is it global? Let's see. Increase popping power, 10% attack speed, and radius for Ring of Fire, Signal Flare, and Dragon's Breath. So maybe- Oh, Ring of- I kind of- Do I put it here? I think we put it here, right? So, faster shooting, even faster shooting. Hot shots, ring of fire, and now we need Inferno Ring, which is forty-three thousand dollars. But we almost have that, so I'm not actually I'm not worried at all. That seems like Inferno Ring, and look, oh look at that placement, and ooh, that'll hit Moabs going around as well. So more tax, even more tax. That's gonna be some really nice damage. Do we just save up the ten million dollars needed to buy the upgrades? Wait. Yeah, that's 10 million. That's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, five druids? Five druids? That's what I was wanting. I was wanting to get five druids, right? But Dartling Gunner. But Druid. 
five you can't I can't turn down five druids. Right? Like you can't turn down five druids. That's literally what I was asking for. We've got Oban right here, and we can get I can literally just get a uh, I can get all of them. I can get all the paths and all the things that I want in life. So we're gonna do that. So can I put Ooh, Lunarius is back with a vengeance now. Oh you can't! So you can only get the T2s. It will not let you get the other paths. Okay. All right, so can I sell this guy then? Okay, I can sell him and get him back. So you are allowed to get the T2, so you're, it, it will not let you go other paths. That is cool. That is really, really cool. But that works really well, actually. So we can go ahead and just get Popless and get Avatar of Wrath. Another hero? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Azili, Sai, or Sada. That's so cool. That is so cool we get to pick one. I don't know who I want though. I'm gonna get Azili. And we're gonna put Azili over here. Okay, so let's see about getting these druids down because I want to get the Avatar of Wrath. So, where can I place these? I, I'm, I don't really need these ninjas. Like the ninjas are okay. Like and like this ninja near monkey's got 12k pops. That's pretty crazy actually. Wait. Oh, these yeah, so we got the three ninjas. Okay, so. Alright, another one. Okay, we can go ahead and get Pop Lust. Thorn Swarm. Can I fit any more druids in here? I ooh! Banana farms! Oh! Banana farms could be kind of hype. Banana farms could be really hype. Six banana farms. How many rounds we got left? We still have a bunch of rounds. I think banana... I'm going banana farms. I've been wanting banana farms, like, all game. And now I actually can save up and buy some banana farms. This is what I need for my strategy. I love this! I actually love this game mode. This is so much fun that I get to just, like, you have no idea. Every run is actually different with what towers you get, what heroes are just going to be available for you to choose. Like, you have kind of a base strategy, but not really. It is a lot of RNG and what towers you end up getting. That is really cool. I think this is a really well-made mod. Two more banana farms. If we can get these banana farms down, we are in business. Man, it's already up around 95. Okay, that's kind of crept up on me. That definitely snuck up on me. I was not ready for that. But like, look at this, look at this banana farm. It's already made, like, it's already made so much money. If, do I get the monkey Wall Street? That's the question. It's $60,000. Will it be able to make its money back in time in like 20 rounds? Sniper Monkey 050, oh, Beast Handler. Middle Pass Snipers. Monkey Subs. I'm gonna go with snipers. I think. Oh, why is there a BAD at round 96? That is. The, why is there multiple BADs at round 96? All right, I'm using Azili's totem. I do not want to deal with these BADs. Uh, it's crazy that there's so many BADs actually. Uh, is it worth getting the? Do I double down on these banana farms, or do I just take what I got now and just try to like upgrade from here? Also, do I stick with the Druids? I think so. I think I do want the Avatar of Wrath. I think, I think it is worth trying to get the Avatar of Wrath. Mm, man, that is stressful. I guess we do have the, this Infernal Ring as like a backup. 20 rounds. Okay, I'm getting, another, I'm getting more Central Markets. One more Central Market and I'm done. All right, three Central Markets. All right, we got to deal with this guy. Okay, uh, I'm using her Totem. Put on the Hex. Firestorm. Molotov. Okay, I want to get these other druids down, actually. I Is it worth selling this guy? I'm going to sell this engineer. I, I need room. Druid of Wrath, Pop Lust. And then another Pop Lust. Thorn Swarm. Okay, how many? We got three on this guy. Yeah, they, they only count towards themselves. And we can have one more druid down. Druid of Greed, Heart of Vengeance. And then almost there at Pop Lust. Okay, wow, that that boss actually dropped really fast. I'm actually a little bit more concerned about like the the base game kind of attacking me here. Max level open, let's go. So.
So this guy doesn't have this in his radius, so I think we have to get this one for Avatar of Wrath. Which I think that's fine. We need $45,000 to get this Avatar of Wrath. Little expensive. I really want Galaxy Lee to hit level 20. Because it can it can destroy BAD balloons. And that's going to be really important. I don't really care about any of these. I'll get the mines because I think mines are kind of... I think mines are good means. There's no way I can afford it. I probably shouldn't have gotten that, but... I don't think there's anything else that I would have rather had. Ooh, are we okay here? Fire. I mean, this guy does... Yeah, he's already getting white pops. Oh my gosh, that got really far. That got really far. I need more camo detection. Oh, I do have my sniper monkeys that I can get soon. I really want to get this Avatar of Wrath. Like, I'm built up for having an Avatar of Wrath. I have the, st the stuff for it. I just got to get Avatar of Wrath. I also have to be less afraid to use Azili's Totem. I know it costs 10 lives, but I have 260 lives. So I think anytime anything like presents itself as a threat, okay, we have Avatar of Wrath, so I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty happy with this situation. Now we can start working on getting these snipers actually, cause they can hit camos and they can do a little bit more to these DDTs. Um, okay, let's use Azili's totem. Yeah, right there. And then, all right, supply drop. Faster firing and even faster firing seems to be the better cross path for like elite snipers. Yeah, look at, look, they're getting some pretty good pops. Nothing super duper crazy, but I do want to get Elite Sniper. Because that'll also buff my main Moab. And having that for stunning balloons is so very nice. Wait, he can't, oh, but they can't hit camos. So he can, this guy can't hit DDTs, but I'd rather that. I'd rather him be stronger. And we can also have fly drops. No, I should have waited so I could have gotten the cash drop. Oh, that was a waste. I didn't even think about that. Okay, I just literally just get more. Like, look, there's already 10,000 pops. 10, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, a fortified BAD. Oh, that I don't know if I can deal with. Uh, okay, what can I, what can I buy? Are we okay? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. My, oh, our druid is putting in work. I'm not gonna, oh, choose a path. Ooh. Ooh, sniper. Oh, more snipers? Do I really want more snipers? Do I really want elite defender snipers? Like, is that worth it? Wizard monkey? Prince of Dark just could be good. But I don't think that's... Monkey village. Primary expertise. But I don't have any primary towers. I don't think these are very good. Like, I, I actually don't think these are that great. Necromancers are okay. I guess they're good against DDTs. I'll get, I'll get a necromancer. Ooh. Are we okay? I can totally fit him right here. Nice. Okay. Let's get this Necromancer. Necromancer, Wall of Fire. And let's have him spawn here. Or like right here. Because that way, like, yeah, balloons are just going to run right through it. And one more round, my friends. We'll be able to sell all of our... Yeah, Banana Farms paid off. Banana Farms definitely with a play. And Prince of Darkness. Let's go. And also have Prince of Darkness go here. And oh my gosh. Okay. Lunarius, let's go. Oh wait, I could have just waited. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, $70,000. Let's just get more, more of these snipers. These snipers are doing good. Can I get more? Oh no, fortified BAD. Oh, she can, she's level 20, so she can actually, look at her pop count. 400,000 MOABS coming! Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's not panic. I'm panicking. I have $50,000. What should I buy? I think I want to buy more of these guys. Just getting more Necromancers, I think, is always going to be, like, a good call. Can I have anything be in the range here? I don't think it really matters, so we'll just grab more Wall of Fire. More Necromancers. I mean, they're getting some pops, nothing crazy. I think we did it. Victory! We did it, everybody! Let's go! We have defeated the custom game mode. That was amazing. That was fun. If you guys want to see this game mode again, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content.